Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook, and I was not going to do a video because it's it, it kind of humored me. If you want this text in the center of the box, you select both items and you hit EC, and it aligns it in the center of the box. He's trying to cut out one of the keystrokes, or the, I shouldn't say he, the person, is trying to cut out one of the keystroke. That's a little hardcore, but I thought, I'm going to go and do it kind of humor. And it also will teach you how to do a macro. So my macros are up here. Your macro is probably under tools and macros. I'm going to start recording, and I'm going to call it a line. And then when you do that, you've started recording. Select both of them and go CE. I'm done. Go up to tools, macros, stop recording. It automatically put into your micro manager. And that's the only reason I'm doing it, just giving another idea of what a macro could do. It'll be under recorded macros. Global macros and recorded macros. So now let's put this off to the side and let's run the macro. Bam. Right click. And assign a keyboard cut a keyboard stroke for it. We're gonna I've already current I've already done it, but I erased it, so we're gonna put the letter O and it's already assigned. So now I've got the letter O, which was not assigned to anything else, and I'll align it both directions, but with just one keystroke. It's fun to play around with macros, so that's one of the reasons I did it. Anyway, and here's just, for instance, if you haven't seen one, one of my macros is called top left, and I can put it to the top left by one. I don't care what you do. You, I've got an escape button, and I can put it anywhere I want, put it to the top left just by hitting one keystroke. So let's align these and hit O. Boom. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.